Hi there, I'm Bria from Estractuario, and in today's video, I'm asking you, are you worried that you're going to spend tons and tons of time studying for actuarial exams and spend thousands of dollars and just do so, so much in order to prepare for an actuarial career and then not even be able to find a job? I know this is a huge concern for many people and I know it's a reason why so many people don't even try the actuarial career at all. So many people are worried that this is just not going to work out for them so they don't even try it at all. So that's what I'm addressing in today's video because I am so confident that if you really want to be an actuary and you're willing to put in the time and the effort to do what it takes to become a really good candidate for actuarial positions, then you can get an actuarial job. I'm so confident about that. So we're going to talk about that in this video. And I'm going to be also talking about what you can do if you decide not to get into an actuarial career. Is it really time wasted or is it actually personal growth? So think about this for a second. Let's say you were going to hire a coach for a kid's football team. Actually, let's go with soccer. I know in some parts of the world, soccer is the same thing as football, but I play soccer all the time, so we're going to go with soccer. Imagine you are trying to hire a coach for a kid's soccer team, and one of the applicants is an Olympic athlete. They have coached kids' soccer teams for the past five years. They have won first place in many tournaments with their team. Um, they have a coaching style that you really like, and they just overall enjoy working with kids. It's kind of like a no-brainer that that person is the perfect fit for your kid's soccer coach position, right? Well, you can do the exact same thing in an actuarial career. You can pass the actuarial exams, you can get technical skills, you can get related experience, you can learn actuarial terms and concepts, you can have a really, really good resume. And when you get all that stuff, it's kind of like a no brainer for employers to hire you, right? You've just got all the skills and qualities that they are looking for. So. That's why I'm really, really confident that if you are willing to put in the work and do what it takes to become a really top candidate for actuarial positions, that you can be an actuary. So I don't want to see people worried and concerned that they're not going to get an actuarial job after they put in all this time and effort, because I know I hear it happening all the time, but those people have likely not put in the effort and the time on doing the things that really need to be done in order to be a top candidate. I'm sure they've put in hundreds of hours of studying and they've done some things, but in order to be a top candidate, there are things that employers are looking for and they're all possible and fairly easy. I'm not gonna say easy, but um, they're all possible to do and become and grow into and skills that you can gain, all that kind of stuff. And some people just haven't done that and they don't realize that there are other things that they need to do in order to be a top candidate. And because of that, they have often just given up on the actuarial career and they've said that the job market is too competitive, it's impossible to get a job and they have just decided to go a different way with their career. You are watching this video, so you know that is not the case. If you become that candidate that is everything that employers are looking for, then it's inevitable that you'll get the job. I hope you agree with me on this. So I know that that's not going to convince everyone to start an actuarial career if it's something they've been considering for a while now. Um, so we're also going to talk about some other things here. Okay, so first off, you have to not think of an actuarial journey and preparing for an actuarial career as a waste of time. Even if you don't end up getting a job, it is not a waste of time. There is so much that there are things right now that you don't even know are going to come out of preparing for an actuarial career that are going to help you grow and just become a bigger and better person in your life. You're going to learn things that you never knew before. You're going to learn concepts. You're going to learn about yourself, things that you like and things that you don't like. You're going to grow as a person just by pursuing an actuarial career, even if you don't get a job in the end. You're going to meet new people and gain new experiences, even if you don't get a job in the end. 
if you're doing things in your life that are helping you grow and become a better person and helping you gain skills, then this is never a waste of time. So I want you to try to shift your mindset and try to stop thinking of the fact that if you don't get an actuarial job, which I think that you'll be able to if you keep on putting in the effort, but if you don't, this is not all going to be a waste of time. So much is going to come out of it. I know people that are in the actuarial career, they're usually lifelong learners. They are people that like to improve themselves and are constantly learning. And this is just one more area of your life where you can be improving, where you can be learning. So it's just not going to be a waste of time, even if you don't get an actuarial job. Of course, we hope that you do. I hope that you do, and I know that you can. But even if you don't, this will not be a waste of time. So why not just go pursue your goals? If you don't pursue them, you are never, ever going to achieve them. And the longer you wait, the more time you really are wasting. Every month that you let go by, every year that you let go by where you don't pursue this goal, that's wasting time. So really take this seriously. Consider what I'm saying. The actuarial career, even if you do not get a job in the end, you're going to be going for a goal. You're going to be improving yourself and that's not going to be a waste of time. So go for it. And another thing too is if you pursue the actuarial career and do everything you need to in order to become a really, really good candidate for actuarial positions, then you are going to have so many transferable skills and knowledge that can be used in other careers. It's not like just because you study for actuarial exams and go for an actuarial career that you're stuck there. No, it's actually opening the doors to so many other different careers. There's careers in insurance, there's careers in finance, there's banking careers, there's statistical careers and math careers and data, analy data analytics data analytics careers, <laughs> computer programming careers. There's so many options out there. So if for some reason your actuarial journey doesn't work out and turn into an actuarial job in the end, you're still opening the doors to so many other careers and you're gaining knowledge that is going to be valued by employers in different industries. So again, have faith and go for your, your dreams, hope and work hard so that you can get an actuarial position. But just know that there are tons of options, backup options that you have available to you just because you pursued an actuarial career. Okay, so I hope this video motivated you. If you want to be an actuary, like this video, give it a big thumbs up right down below, like right now, if you wanna be an actuary, thumbs up. Okay, and let me know in the comments. I really want to know what you think about this. If you spend a year, maybe two years and some money pursuing an actuarial career and you don't end up getting a job, is it a waste of time? Let me know what you think. You already know what my thoughts are. So let me know down in the comments and I'll be reading all of those and replying back. Bye for now. Oh good, you're still watching. If you want to pursue your actuarial goals, go check out the Actuary Accelerator community. It has step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step guidance for you so that you know exactly what to do and you don't get into the trap of feeling lost, feeling confused, and unsure of where to focus. In the Actuary Accelerator community, which is hosted by yours truly, we have the Actuary Accelerator plan and it will make sure that you are following the best steps in the best order so that you really do become a top candidate. And when you're a top candidate, it's almost inevitable that employers are going to be interested in you and want to hire you. So go check that out. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. Okay, for real, I'm going now. Bye.